Her career has been amazing. Um, every place that she has been, she has made the most of the opportunity. And as a judge, she is a judge's judge. That sounds like a trite cliche, but it isn't. It has a meaning. It means that she's really smart. It means that she's a prodigious worker, that she writes opinions that are principled and based on the facts and the law, that she's collegial, she attempts to reach a consensus, and that she always, always does more work than everybody else, does all of the heavy lifting. If you were gonna be in a foxhole, Mary Kate is who you'd wanna have with you. She started out as a law clerk for Judge Matthews, who was one of the best appellate judges in the history of the court. He was the, the head of the appellate court. Uh, she was a deputy attorney general. She was an assistant United States attorney. When she became a judge, she sat in every um, very, in all the various assignments. She was chosen <clears throat> by the Chief Justice to be elevated to the appellate division. And I mean, she has just been a star at everything she's ever done. Mary Kate was a, a consensus builder, always trying to uh, shave off the rough edges of everybody's argument so that the, the group could come together. And, but that didn't mean she was a pushover either. She knew when to stand up and when to fold. And if it was necessary, she would dissent. But she was not, she was mostly interested in consensus. She looks at opinions not as one ticket for one trip, but as something which teaches the judges and the public what they should be thinking about doing. She is a kind, compassionate, very decent, humble, honorable woman. Um, she's also very funny. She's a great laugher. Um, she's a wonderful listener. She keeps her own counsel. Um, and all of those attribute, personal attributes are part and parcel of her life as a judge. And you know that she is also a Renaissance woman. She has interests way beyond the law, even though the law takes up so much of your time when you're a judge. She was interested in opera, in cooking, and just a lot of other things. She has been a mentor, certainly, to all of the law clerks that she's had over all of these years, and I know that they're all crazy about her. She is just always there for them. I mean, I know that her phone is constantly ringing off the hook. I can't think of anybody who would be a better recipient of the Fannie Bear Besser Award. Mary Kate embodies all of the ideals that were established by Fannie Bear Besser. She's a paradigm for public service. That is recognizing it as not just a job, but a calling. That is how she has treated it through her entire career. And again, I cannot think of a better recipient of the award.